Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about how we can integrate Tailwind CSS in the custom theme of Drupal. This video is in the continuation of my previous videos that I had created on how to create a custom theme in Drupal. If you are already aware of creating a custom theme in Drupal 9, then continue watching this video. If not, I would request you to go and watch my previous videos and then continue watching this video. So let's get started. Step 1 is to install the Laravel mix in our themes directory. To do that, go to laravel-mix.com, go to its documentation. In the installation section, you can see that the instructions are given. We need to initiate our themes directory first. So copy this command and go to terminal. In your themes directory, run this command. After running this command, you can check for the package.json has been created. Now, step two. Step two is install this dependency that is laravel hyphen mix. Run this command. Laravel mix package has been installed. Now the last step is to create this file that is webpack.mix.js run this command as well the webpack.mix.js has been created all right now the next step is to install the tailwind.css to do that go to its official website get started in the frameworks guides go to laravel in this section you can go to this using laravel mix section and follow the instruction so copy the first command and paste it in your themes directory enter so a file has been created also that is tailwind.config.js but we want one more configuration file so we need to run this command again with one extra parameter that is hyphen p now tailwind.config.js was already exists that is why it it is not created again but a new file has been created that is post css.config.js very well now go to documentation and see it is saying that to cre create webpack.mix.js and paste this code in that file now copy this code go to your webpack.mix.js file and paste it here we don't want the js compilation so remove that we want the sas compilation and our source file is you can find it here in scss folder base elements.scss and the destination is to be set to you can find it here in libraries.yml file you can see that base scss file should be put in this directory so destination should be set to this path now we need to import this plugin that is mix so let's import it mix require laravel mix we need another plugin that is tailwind css which is to be imported from tailwind css okay now set our Tailwind CSS plugin for this project. To do that, use options API and set the post CSS plugin. It should be an array and write Tailwind CSS and pass the path of the configuration file. Go to projects root directory and in our themes directory run this command. So it has installed some additional dependencies. We need to run this command again. So the SAS file has been compiled successfully. You can see that in CSS file base elements.css. This file is empty because this file was empty. Now go to official documentation of Tailwind CSS and 
find this step that is step 4 in this step it is saying that to import these directives copy these directives and paste them in the elements.scss file okay now run the command again you can see here the compile size has been changed of elements.css earlier it was 1 kb now it is 8.96 kb now check in the editor go to elements.css file here you can see that tailwind css has put all these presets in the elements.css file okay let's go to browser and in admin panel go to site here you can see that all these things has been unstyled by tailwind.css you can confirm the changes by reverting back these changes I am going to comment this and run the scripts again ok the size has been changed again now go to browser and refresh you can see that the admin heading has been changed the links are styled by the browser and all these things are some in some way are styled but if we uncomment these changes and compile our script again now go back to browser refresh you can see here all the things gone unstyled so the tailwind css has been integrated in the custom theme i hope you found this video informative and thanks for watching this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.